Part two of chapter five's review uh, takes us to the recommendations. This is all in your notes and your book. Uh, recommendations for total fat, no more than 20 to 35% of total calories. Uh, limit saturated fat to seven to 10% of total calories. Avoid trans fat. Cholesterol, no more than 300 milligrams per day. Include the beneficial fats, such as the monos, the omega-3s, and so forth. Um, I also go over sources of the saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and cholesterol. Uh, again, saturated fats are found in the tropical oils, although research is indicating that they may not be as dangerous as once thought. But beef fat, uh, organ meat fat, milk fat, those, they're saturated. The monounsaturated fats are found in such things as canola oil or olive oil. Uh, polyunsaturated is most of the rest. Uh, the beneficial omega-3s of fish oil, nuts and seeds, and corn oil, and all that. Uh, peanut oil is about half mono and half poly. Cholesterol is found in foods of animal origin. Uh, they're not found in plants. Uh, some foods of animal origin are higher than others, such as uh, organ meats. They tend to be the highest, such as liver uh, and kidney, uh, although red meat kind of has its share as well. Uh, roles of dietary fat in disease are well studied and continue to be studied. There is some uh, evidence to suggest that high animal fat diets are associated with some types of cancers, uh, but most of the research is related to heart disease. Now, coronary heart disease is when fatty plaques build up on, in the inside of these little vessels known as coronary arteries. They reduce blood flow, and that buildup of fatty plaques is called atherosclerosis. Uh, the chest pain that is associated is referred to as angina. Uh, an MI is better known as a heart attack when there's a blockage of blood flow in one of these things. Risk factors are listed in your notes. Uh, this includes uh, being overweight, not being physically active, smoking, uh, diabetes is a risk factor, uh, inflammation is a risk factor, uh, abnormal blood lipids, that is having high LDL, low HDL, and so forth. And this concludes the review for that chapter.